Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can manage your template content in multiple drives. This feature allows you to collaborate with partners or utilize a combination of devices to reduce the amount of local disk space used on your machine. Let's take a look at how we can set up multiple drives. If I right click on an item in this pack and select find file, you can see that it's located in the default folder path, which in this case is our D drive. The file path will be reillusion content backslash reillusion templates. Let's go back into our content manager menu and into settings to add and or switch the drives. In this case, you can see the default path listed at the top. Let's add another path by pressing the plus button to the right. Once that's done, you'll see it appear in the drop down for template folders. If this drive and folder path are selected as your default template location, any new downloaded content pack will download to this path. Let's test that out by going back to our main template folder and downloading another pack. Once we do, I can use the find file command again to find that it has indeed downloaded to our newly specified folder in the C drive. Let's continue by applying a character along with a motion from that new pack. Although we're utilizing multiple drives, we're still able to search across each one that is used. Regardless of where the content is installed, you're still able to search for any pack using the search field as you see here. It's also super easy to change a pack's location as well. If I use the find file command on an item from the pack, you can see that it is installed to our previously defined default location on the D drive. If I want to move that pack content to another location, it's really as easy as just right clicking on the pack thumbnail and selecting move location. From there, we can choose one of our previously defined file paths from the drop down menu. I'll simply select a new location here and just click on move. After that, you can use the find file button on the next window that pops up to ensure that your content was moved to the right place. Next, let's take a look at setting up a network disk as one of our multiple drives. Very convenient for work groups of multiple users. In this case, we're adding an iDrive path you can see here as our shared drive location. If we go to the file path for this content pack, you can see that it shows up in our iDrive in Explorer, but it is still grayed out in the content manager. This is because we still need to sync it. In order to do so, we can go over to our content manager menu and select sync installed assets. This will search for and find all content which has already been installed. What we need to do here is enter the network drive file path folder where all the installed content is and hit start. Once the syncing is finished, the thumbnails that were previously grayed out will light up. And if we use the find file function once again, you'll see that the path is set to our new network drive. This convenient new feature allows workgroups to collaborate via a number of different devices and utilize the same network drive, which also greatly reduces the usage of local disk space. Be aware that all of the workstations in your workgroup will need to be working under the same Reillusion account. You can learn more about the benefits of workgroups on our website, which you can also find in the description. That's about it for this tutorial guys. Hopefully you can enjoy and take advantage of this great new feature to optimize both your group workflow and your local disk space. Please be sure to check out our tutorial on custom content management on multiple drives as well. I'll see you in the next video.